a fan of science and who isn't this event is definitely for you it's taking place may 16th to the 18th it's the canada wide science fair uh, with us right now we say hello to mark barbeau who's the claims manager of intact insurance hello mark hi how are you good to have you on the show i'm yeah. good and renee barlow as well executive director of youth science canada thanks for having hello. us hello can you tell us about youth science canada youth science canada is the national charitable organization that tries to get uh, youth primarily grade 7 to 12 engaged in doing science and technology through asking questions and uh, identifying problems. Okay, so that's who this is geared towards then. Uh, Absolutely. Grade seven to 12. Yes. Okay, and it's the Canada-wide Science Fair. This has been around for quite some time. It has. The first one was in 1962, so we're coming up on 60 years of uh, Canada-wide Science Fairs. Wow. And uh, now we bring almost 500 youth, uh, grade seven to 12, as we said, um, from every province and territory with their, uh, their projects. And they've been selected from about 25,000 kids across wow. the country. I know I want to ask you about the selection process coming up. In, mm -hmm. in, but Mark is here, Intact Insurance. So what, what is your role in this amazing event? We're partnering with Canada Wide Science Fair because we see uh, a need for climate change. We're involved in that. We're working with our communities uh, to make them more resilient, to uh, that they understand the impact of climate change. And as a, an insurer, or the top insurer in, in Canada, uh, we're committed to this. This is one of our fundamental goals. Pretty important. Yeah. You actually got a, a Climate Change Resilience Award as well? We do. Uh, we're giving out three awards this year, one for the, uh, the junior, the intermediate, and the senior group. And the top performer in the senior group will be receiving the Resilience Award. Mm -hmm. And what that gives them is an all-expense-paid trip to the Intact Center for uh, Climate Change, uh, which is located at the University of Waterloo, which is one of the leading hmm. uh, research institutes in Canada for climate change. So okay. it's uh, pretty so impressive. So what are you looking for then when, when you hand out that award? What what needs to be part of their project? I think I maybe Renee. Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay. sure. Yeah, so what we're really looking for there is kids who have looked at the situation around climate change and the fact that climate change is happening um, and, and looking at solutions to mitigate against climate change. So finding ways to, uh, you know, identify or perhaps predict fires or floods or uh, to help uh, homeowners and that sort of thing deal with those kinds of situations. Mm -hmm. So inventions and also research into those areas. Okay. How many inventions are going to be on hand at this? Uh... About 450. 450. Yeah. That's a lot. It That's is. a lot of yeah. inventions. Okay. Yeah. Do you actually, uh, let's get into some of the inventions or, or, or what you brought here exactly. What, what are you going to be demonstrating? Sure. Well, one of the, the, our main focus is basically to get kids to ask questions and to be curious mm -hmm. about science and technology. So in connection with climate change and, you know, especially some recent events around weather and so on, uh, we're going to try to make uh, uh, a cloud in a bottle. Okay. So uh, should we not have safety glasses? Like you guys both uh, have glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. These are safety goggles. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're. I think we're on. good. Okay, so sure. uh, so basically, we're uh, we're going to take this this bottle. It's just a plastic juice bottle. Yeah. And uh, uh, we're going to put a little bit of water into it. Okay. And uh, because we need some moisture to create a cloud, so we're going to swirl that around a little bit. Yeah. Um, dump it out. So it's really just moist inside the bottle. Okay. And then we need something for the moisture to uh, to sort of glom onto. Um, so we're actually going to um, put a little bit of smoke into the uh, uh, in, into the bottle. Okay. At, at this point, Dylan, I would suggest <laughs> that the experiment uh, be overseen by an adult or oh, a grown-up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because we are using matches. Well, at so. least you two are here, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to put a little bit of little bit of smoke into the bottle there. Just for the uh, moisture to uh, to catch on to. Okay. And then we're going to seal the bottle, and then we're going to pressurize it. So I'm going to ask Mark to do some uh, pumping on the bicycle pump here, and we're just going to push that in there. Okay, and this is going to be like an alarming result. In no, the no. You can so, see that the bottle is actually expanding. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you see the bottom sort of popping up. Maybe one more one pump more? there. Yeah. Exactly. And then we're going to release the pressure very quickly, okay. and it'll cool, and we should get a cloud inside the bottle. A cloud. So. There, see, yeah. see there, we got... Uh, I think we're seeing that, of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I can go. see it here. Yep. Yeah. So you can see some moisture in there. Oh, so that's it's something. A, so it's a simple kind of thing that uh, uh, kids can do at home with parents or teachers can do at school. And, of course, we want, uh, we want teachers uh, to bring their kids to the, uh, the Canada-wide science fair, mm -hmm. bring their class uh, for a visit. They can sign up on the website. 
parents can bring their kids uh, to visit. It's open on the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of, uh, of next week. Yeah, uh, open to visitors. And, Carleton University. So, where more specifically Carleton University? Is it's about? going to be in the um, Alumni Fieldhouse. Alumni That's Fields. where the uh, project zone is. And then we have another part called the uh, STEM Expo, which is in the, in the Raven's Nest Gym. Okay. So, so back to the selection process. So how did these kids get chosen? from ages or grades 7 to 12? Well, there are about a half a million kids uh, across the country who do some kind of project every year, some kind of STEM project. And uh, so they, they, they do that at home and so on. They take it to school um, and they may be selected there. We have 100 regional science fairs across the country uh, in every province and territory. And then the, um, the kids are selected uh, out of the 25,000 who participate in those regional fairs. Um, those regional fairs select uh, the 500 uh, wow. to come to the Canada Wide Fair. That's something. So. So it sounds like a lot of students on hand, but there's way more that we're trying to get into this. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So yes. that's going to make you feel good, though, for the science or the future of science. It does, it does. And then some of the ideas that uh, that come out uh, of these projects are really quite incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe you can just highlight one or two. Sure, the past, uh, sure. So, so last year, our best junior project, and juniors are grade 7 and 8, um, was actually a, a device that clamps onto your finger, measures your blood pressure, uh, your, uh, uh, your pulse, and so on, and then transmitted that wirelessly to uh, computers so that uh, the um, medical professionals could monitor That's multiple incredible. patients uh, simultaneously. That's incredible. Uh, our future is safe. Absolutely. <laughs> Mark Barbeau, Intact Insurance. Thank you, Renee Barlow with the Youth of Science Canada. We appreciate your time here today. Great. Thank Thanks you. very much. a lot of fun May 16th to 18th. Uh, thinking about the pool season? Well, we've got details on how we can help you out with that next on Daytime.